Sustainable local food hubs provide food that is good for people, good for the environment, and also good for local food producers as they promote short food supply chains. Food hubs are shaped by the interests and needs of local people, as well as what the local land can produce, so each one is unique. Food hubs take many forms, but they all bring together food and drink from a number of local suppliers, which can be ordered online and distributed to local shoppers and buyers. Food hubs adapt quickly to the needs of their local community. Some, for example, prioritise making healthy, local food accessible for people on low incomes, while others act as marketing cooperatives for local producers. Food hubs became very popular during the pandemic and they are now adapting to find ways to ensure that everyone can continue to afford healthy food that supports their local economy and benefits the environment. As part of the Resilient Green Spaces Partnership Project, Open Food Network, Social Farms and Gardens, Development Trust Association Wales and the Land Workers Alliance have worked in partnership to support five innovative food hubs in Wales. I'm Tina Castry, I'm the Food Hub Manager of the Peninsula Producers Food Hub. My name is Gwen Sheehan and I'm the Food Hub Coordinator at Rar Seven Hen Grice. A lose a and we and Kidlani Kadunogwan sev Kadun Ogunar Khwed Bachleal and Van Rudan Ogun Pasta Frenogwan. And then we've got really passionate about getting local food out to local people within this area. But I really think that just getting the knowledge out there that it's normal food for normal people, but from the local area. And we just need to get the knowledge out there that that is not a strange thing. You can buy bread from the hub, you can buy it from a local person in the local area. We just need to make people aware of that. I really enjoy working with such a wide range of producers and seeing all these projects going on locally. It's really exciting being able to work within sustainable food systems. It's encouraging and to think about a positive future for food systems locally. Dwi yn cari i'r cynnyrch, dwi wedi stopio mynd i archfech nadoedd, dwi wedi'n prynu unrhyw rhyw byst i mwy, dwi wedi'n byta ni ach, byta bwyd lleol, a dwi wedi'n cari gallu nabod y bobl sy'n tyfu'r bwyd dwi'n byta. My name is Alma and uh, and I'm Sam. We uh, run Kaidiat CIC. As, as we were planning how are we going to access the community here, the food hub had been around for about a year. I got talking to Dan Jones and he was really supportive. A couple of meetings with him and you, we, he showed us how it worked and it was really simple. Within a week we were selling. Yeah, a sort of trying to create like a whole system based on no dig, based on regenerative agriculture. We really like variety and diversity and this allows us to grow a little bit of everything. On the Thursday we know exactly what we're harvesting so we don't over harvest, we don't pull things out of the ground that we don't need. Um, everything's cut fresh on a Friday and given to people on a Saturday. Yeah, uh, my name's Dan, Dan Jones. Um, I'm a manager at Triganis Farm, Farm City Children, one of the producers, but also uh, the person who set the um, food hub up back in uh, July 2020. Uh, at the farm at Lower Triganis, we sent goodbye to the children in, uh, in March 2020. Then it became evident that the children weren't coming back, and obviously the food that we planted was to, was to feed the children in, uh, in the farm. Another guy I work with uh, called Alan, he heard about this open food network, and we looked into it, we set it up with a couple of producers, and it was just in the car park out there, just with a white van, and. Maybe we had two producers the first week and about four orders and then three producers, six orders and it just really grew sort of organically. Uh, my name is Dan and I'm a self-employed small business owner. The fact that we're feeling like we're reaching different people, I think that's people in different income brackets using the shops in different ways and that's really good and really positive to see these ideas reaching different parts of the community because I think that's really, really important. It's not just seen as a preserve one type of part of the community or one section of society. Oh, well, my name is Mia. Totally want to support local farmers and local producers. So all of those kinds of things, local cheese producers, local egg producers, and any produce that's not coming from the garden right now, I would definitely choose to buy local first. My name is Mick Hartley. We just rely on it. During the lockdown, it was a, a, a lifesaver. Um, but also the availability of fresh food, you know. All the, all the fabulous fruit and vegetables you can get. Oh, hello. Um, I'm Janet uh, Higgs. 
Well, it's fresh yeah, and there's no food miles and it's everything that we've had from here, absolutely everything has been perfect. The flavour, the taste, everything. And you know, it's all local, local producers trying to make their way, especially through the terrible COVID situation. And you just want to support your community. Oh, hello, I'm Chris, I'm a new customer here. I've chosen uh, local suppliers. I think the whole ethos of, of the Open Food Hub is about local suppliers and, and this, this is a change for me and actually I'm choosing a more local supplier now than I was before. Ella bod ai pobl dal eisiau mynd i'r arch farchnadoedd yn synnu dal gallu ella just roi deg pent yr wsnos tuag at cynhyrchwyr bach leol. I would love to extend this to more of a community hub as well. A lot of production of food and meat tends to be quite insular. It, it's almost that connection that people can have a chat here. So I think we could expand on that side of things as well, that sort of social connection. So just to continue to develop the food hub in relation to our other food projects, so we have a lot of community gardens, allotments, we run a community pantry. Our hope is that the food hub can grow sustainably along those projects. These new food hubs in Wales have drawn on the experience of all the different food hub enterprise models across the open food network, including food banks, food co-ops, buying groups, online farmers markets and village shops. The Open Food Network supports each community to find a model that works for them. If you're interested in finding out more about any of these amazing food hubs or setting up a food hub in your community, visit about.openfoodnetwork.org.uk.